So just five teams in this men's 10 meter synchronized final. The Italians just pulled out before the event got started due to injury to Mattia Placidi. So it is uh, Belarus to get this underway. Vlad, uh, Vladim Kaptur and Artizom Baruski, 31 years old and 18 respectively, their second Europeans together. They came fourth in this event last year. Forward one and a half somersaults in Pike, their first required dive, 2.0 degree of difficulty. Yeah, we're expecting to see some high quality diving here. Notably, the Ukrainians missing. A little bit of mystery surrounding that. I'm quite unsure where that pair is. So, medals wide open, in my opinion. Yeah, Ukraine, the defending champions, have chosen not to enter a team this year. So, it's a bit of a surprise one, really. Look at that. What a great opening. 52.8. Anything over 50 points on these required dives. First two rounds is cooking with gas, and the Belarusians laying down an early marker and these two will follow it with an inward dive in pike they won silver at last year's world championships these two both former european championships from 10 meter individually That's pretty classy, isn't it? Synchronization was exceptional from start to finish. Maybe Mini Baev closest to us, messing up his execution of his inward dive ever so slightly, throwing up a bit too much splash. So nines on synchro coming their way and another over 50 point required dive. That's two out of two so far. Yeah, it's been a hot start, hasn't it? And it's up to the British team, Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams to follow that. Forward one and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.0 degree of difficulty. Of course, all teams dive two required dives with limited difficulty rating. These two bronze medalists last year behind Ukraine and Russia. Yeah, nice clean finishes into the water not choosing to choosing not to be outclassed by the belarusians and russians before them the judges of course are looking for an upright vertical entry splash free and that's exactly what our boys delivered there great synchronization do they sneak over 50 points as well yes they do yeah good opening dive then from the british 18 year olds Germany should also be pushing for the medals. Uh, the new pairing after domination by Sasha Klein and Patrick Hausting. Nine European titles in a row from them. These are the new kids on the block. Timo Bartel and Florian Fandler forward one and a half somersaults in Pike. Uh, they're big shoes to fill, aren't they? And not a young team. So Florian, the grand old age of 30 years old, in fact, older than both Sasha and Patrick, who have retired from the 10 meter. Sasha retired from diving, Patrick down on the three meter. So that's the lowest scoring dive we've seen so far in this uh, blistering start. Of course, two rounds of required dives. And then we move on into four rounds of optionals. So five points behind the leaders, the Germans. And our first Armenians, look yeah. at the Armenians, Vladimir Halachunyan and Lev Sargsyan, starting with a forward one and a half somersaults in Pike. Oh, they're both finished off their dives with excellent execution there, keeping the splashdown. The synchronization was okay, and I think that's better than the Germans opening dive. It's like for like, marginally different times on hitting the water, but they might still get eights on synchro, maybe even an eight and a half. So, well, we'll see. I think it's a battle at the bottom between the Armenians and the Germans. Early stages, of course, the required dives, limited degree of difficulty.
So let's look at the standings after the first round of six dives in this men's 10 metre synchronised final. Look at that, uh, Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams for Great Britain. Just 0.2 of a mark off the gold medal position. It is tight at the top. The Belarusians lead the way. Russia in the silver medal position for now. So the Belarusians out in front. They led from the start because uh, they were the first team out on the platform. Italy having pulled their team out just before this final got underway. Yeah, we're definitely light on numbers today. The Ukrainian team who've been in the World Series as well. We were talking to Tom Daly earlier and he said that it was the Ukrainians or the Russians who were the strongest in this event. But the Ukrainians not here. Reverse dive in Pike for the final required dive. 2.0 degree of difficulty for Belarus. Well, definitely not as good as their opening gambit. They were in superb synchronization for round one. There is a slight error there in the distance from the diving board. Captor closest to us has jumped clearly much further away from the diving board. That's a mini gap in there, enough for a tricycle. So the judges will penalize for the differing distances from the board. So the synchronization marks right of screen now at eights. They would have been nines if they were in perfect alignment as they were on round one. The Russians currently in the silver medal position. Alexander Bondar and Viktor Minibayev. So much experience in the Russian team. World silver medalists these two last year. Bondar twice a European champion, nine times a European medalist. Back dive in Pike. Yeah, that's two out of two for Team Russia. Very solid. But that's exactly what you need from the first two rounds of dives, required dives. You are limited on degree of difficulty, so it's all about precision. And that's precision diving for the Russians. They've got their noses out in front. Just over 50 points as well for that one, I would imagine. 51 on mm. the nose, nines on synchro. OK, so pressure on the GB boys up next. Yeah, there are Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams, Commonwealth Games silver medalist, of course, behind Tom Daly and Dan Goodfellow, who claimed the gold on the Gold Coast. Inward one and a half somersaults in Pike for the British teenagers, both 18 years old, Matthew and Noah. Yeah, no mistakes, neat and tidy. Yeah, sensational. Holding form, holding their nerve, and doing what they need to do here to keep up with the Russians. They'll be breathing down their neck. I think the Russians will finish this required with their noses just in front as they do. But that is a very, very steadfast start for our boys. Timo Bartel and Florian Fandler of Germany taking over the mantle from Sasha Klein and Patrick Housding, who won nine European titles in a row from 2008. Reverse dive in Pike. That's a little bit better from the Germans. They are being outclassed by certainly the Russians and the British at this time. So Florian, who is closest to us, just not keeping the splash down here for his dive. So when you see the execution marks, which appear left of screen, you will see execution three and four slightly lower. Oh, no, actually, one and two. But the judges have let him get away with empty in the pool. Interesting. Haratunyan and Sagsyan of Armenia with a reverse dive in Pike. Down in fifth of five after round one. Well, they ended up okay synchronization wise, but you can start to see inexperience. 
shining through as both divers, from an execution point of view, er making errors, particularly on their angle of entry into the water, which of course the judges are looking for vertical entries. And our Armenians were both a little bit here and there, so you see the execution marks much, much lower, which does knock on to the synchronization marks. So round two of six complete. We're flying through this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Unlike the men's three meter prelim this morning. Alexander Bondar and Viktor Milibayev just ahead by 1.2 of Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams of Great Britain in the silver medal position and the Belarusians clinging on to a medal having slipped from gold to bronze. Well, the competition starts now. This is the optional rounds of dives, four of them. And we're going to be seeing the biggest and hardest and ugliest and prettiest all at the same time. I'm talking specifically about the diving. Baruski and Captor then with their first optional dive. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. It's okay, I always uh, do have a little bit of a nervous time because Captor, who's closest to us on the screen there, as his coach, oh, has hit his head on this diving board a few times and knocked himself out. Uh, it's been That's like, he's, if he gets any closer and hits his head again, he'll kill himself. And so it's nothing to be uh, laughed at by any stretch. I've seen him fished out of the pool. It's happened to him a few times. Luckily, this time he was just close and not dangerously close but still come on Whew. okay just give me a few seconds to calm down now the Russians have the trickiest list of optional dives starting with a 3.4 degree difficulty reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck for the world silver medalists Hello, Russia. I did think that they might have something to say about the flow of medals so far. Strong events today for Russia. And these boys are the ones to beat, certainly from recent form. They've got huge degree of difficulty. And when it goes well, they're going to be difficult to keep up with. That's going to get way over 80 points. And it's uh, Russia laying down the gauntlet. Yeah, 83.64. They will be the ones to chase down for Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams, currently in the silver medal position. A 3.3 difficulty back, three and a half somersaults in tuck for the British team. Tracking down that Russian benchmark. Oh, it's a good response. It is a good response, but it is not as classy as the Russians. Our boys have slotted that one in nicely. It's fraction lower degree of difficulty. Great spin speeds. They're just washing the dive slightly over so they won't get more than sevens on an execution. Eights for synchro, I would say. Come on, judges, yes. But you can see uh, 10 points nearly. The Russians outdid them by on that dive which uh, is going to be harder to claw back. However, the Russians have got some uh, big dives to come, which can go wrong. Timo Bartel and Florian Fandler of <coughs> Germany. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Well, the Germans just looking a little bit outclassed so far. Both divers finishing reasonably low to the water, even though this is a pretty easy dive. They are in good synchronization. The judges will probably give them eights for that. But, uh, you 
can just see the execution isn't quite cutting it. 70 points is okay, but it's going to be okay for the battle for the bronze. Howard Chunyan and Sargsyan then to finish off this third round of dives. We are rattling through this men's 10 meter synchro final. And it's a back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in pike, 3.2 degree of difficulty for Team Armenia. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. I wasn't expecting to uh, to see that. The synchronization is a fraction out, but I'll tell you what, from an execution point of view, both guys there absolutely drilling their entries. Well done, Armenia. Keeping themselves in the mix at the moment. Yeah, they've leapfrogged up above the Germans with that Brilliant. one. So they're both, what, 20, 21? Good, Lev there, been to the Olympic, has been to the Olympic Games, hence the tattoo on his left pec. So halfway through, and uh, Bondard and Minibayev of Russia out in front, almost 10 points ahead of Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams from Great Britain in the silver, and Belarus in bronze medal position for now. But Armenia leapfrogging Germany into fourth. And they're only three points off a medal. So all to play for as we go into the second half of this men's 10 meter platform synchronized final forward three and a half somersaults in pike for Baruski and Kaptur of Belarus. Well, lower degree of difficulty from the Belarusians. The coach looking away there as he knows as we know that they were out of time and the lion's share of the marks are for the synchronization already captor ahead of his partner hitting the water marginally before so they're not going to get more than sevens on synchro and that well let's see how that unfolds on this round four of six i think this is the russians to throw away and this is a big dive easy to make a mistake yeah it's a back three and a half somersaults in pike 3.6 degree of difficulty the russians almost 10 points ahead of matthew dixon and no williams in silver this would extend their lead if it goes well or leave the door open for great britain if a mistake is made It's Mini Baev that opens the door and Bondar, yeah, well, he's, he's getting, so Mini Baev closest to us. That synchronization is all the way and then Mini Baev lets it go too early and lands very short of vertigo. He's only going to get fives on execution. Bondar, however, absolutely buries his dive. He's going to get nines. No, look at that. So execution, eight, eight and a half and then the drop and then, wow, the door is ajar. Not wide open, because Bondar didn't make a mess of it. Do Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams have the maturity at 18 years old to take this opportunity then? Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Last year's bronze medalists at the European Championships. Oh, it needed to be brilliant to close the gap and from a synchronization point of view it was spot on however noah just emptying the pool as he entered the water that's really annoying he's right of screen here you can see the synchronization spot on matthew dixon keeps the splash down noah for some reason has a battle with the water and the water wins so that will affect noah's execution which is six and a half and then the synchro is down so mm. the russians are safe yeah, their lead extended actually to 15 points. So an opportunity gone begging there, perhaps for Great Britain. Timo Bartel and Florian Fandler, who have found themselves at the bottom of the pack. 
rather surprisingly, after three dives, back three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.3 3 degree of difficulty to get themselves back in it. Well, that's pretty good from the Germans. Yeah, they almost started to discount them, but actually, that's their highest degree of difficulty, a 3.3. And Timo, closest to us, doing a superb job on his dive. Keeping the splash down. Florian, I can't say the same for him. That's uh, mid-60s. OK, not enough to press for the medals. So, a great dive for the Armenians in the third round. Saw them up into fourth above Germany. This time an inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty to keep themselves ahead of the Germans. bit of a mixed bag fraction off synchronization spin speeds out on the distance from the diving board as well they are reasonably neat and tidy and they might just be still in front of the Germans surprisingly down in last place So let's have a look at the standings after round four of six and that lead for Russia now 15 points over Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams of Great Britain. Belarus still in bronze medal position and the Germans languishing at the bottom of the pack. Do you want that live update that I just got? I just heard you talking to Tom Daly about yeah. where are Ukraine? Where are Ukraine? Have to say? Yes, he said the Ukrainians were at a training camp in London and uh, one of the partner, one of the pair slipped off uh, the somersaulting box in the dry land and twisted his toe out. Yeah, that does hurt as well. The old toe twist when you land incorrectly in the diving dry land area. So that's the update from Team Ukraine. Back to the action. Back three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.3 degree of difficulty for Belarus. Bronze medal position at the moment. Their penultimate dive. Oh, Kasplosh! That's the first one we've seen so far in this 10 meter contest. Oh dear, Belarus were going along at a fine speed and then it isn't Kaptur, it's Baruski who lands flat on his back and let me tell you that is not pleasant and neither of those marks. Wow, this bronze is just anyone's. See if Tom wants to jump in with me. Maybe we could do. Uh... <laughs> I'm just indicating to Tom. See if he wants to step in with me now, and maybe we could uh, Win a take bronze part. Medal. <laughs> the bronze. He's nodding. The bronze is open. We're both injured. I'm 10 years retired, but we could uh, jump in. My money's on Armenia. <laughs> it could be. Wow, what a. Okay, this is big. This is big. This is for the Russians. Forward four and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.7 degree of difficulty. Would cement the gold. Yeah, it's good enough, I think, to keep that lead. Huge degree of difficulty. And if anything was going to go wrong, it would be on this dive. There we are. It's OK. It's OK, she yeah, says. That's good enough. It was... I guess the coaching point would have been, don't mess it up, <laughs> and they didn't. There's a lot that can go wrong with that dive, especially when you're doing it in synchro, and our Russians have, well, I think they've put it out of reach a little bit now. That is 
for mediocre for that kind of dive execution wise but it's the degree of difficulty mm. that saved them yeah 3.7 that degree of difficulty Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams have 3.4 degree of difficulty reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck currently in silver medal position the gold slipping out of reach but the silver definitely theirs for the taking Oh, they're giving it a little go, aren't they? Just differing distances from the diving board. They need 86. They're not going to get that, but they are going to close the gap on the Russians. Noah is actually a little bit tight to the diving board there. Matty Dixon, good distance away. You can drive a little tricycle through the gap between them. So the judges aren't going to give them more than eights for synchro. But that is good. That's going to get 80 points, yes. Yeah, 80.58. The gap, the gap has been closed really ever so has. slightly. It's just 5.46 now, so that is gettable. If Russia make a mistake and Great Britain bury their final dive. Germany's Timo Bartel and Florian Fandler forward three and a half somersaults in Pike, 3.0 degree of difficulty. Germany's new pairing. Oh, that's good synchronization, isn't it? Lower degree of difficulty, so the Germans knew. They knew that they needed to uh, perform that very well indeed, which is exactly what they've done. Their fifth round dive, their easiest dive, and that's good synchro. They are limited in the degree of difficulty, it being only 3.0. So will they get, yeah, 67? Oh, goodness, this next dive from our media. Hold on to your seats. Yeah, it's a 3.6 degree difficulty. Back three and a half somersaults in Pike. Two huge dives coming up for Armenia for their last two. <laughs> well, it has not been going like that in training. I can assure you, I would not have been. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, I don't know. I was squirming in my seat as they took off. They have just pulled out the dive of their career when they needed it the most. Look at that, nearly 80 points. No wonder the jubilations are. Well, they're justified. Look at this, Armenia for bronze wow back into the hot tub boys yeah keep it hot because let's look at the standings uh, Minibayev and Bondar now 5.4 points ahead of Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams in silver but look Armenia up into bronze medal position with that blistering penultimate dive 3.6 degree of difficulty and they absolutely nailed it so I think this is the Russians uh championship to throw away they're finishing with a very good dive of theirs and it is 0.4 degree of difficulty more than the British boys so final round all to play for and well who'd have thought that we'd be talking about Armenia being in medal contention yeah the Belarusians pushed right to the bottom of the pack with that mistake their penultimate dive Boruski landing on his back back two and a half somersaults one and a half twists in pike 3.2 degree of difficulty to try and claw back towards those medal positions well this is a strong finish from the Belarusians but you cannot make a huge mistake as they did on round five and expect to still challenge for the medals I mean they're not going to be far away synchronization's okay 
And apart from that one error on round five, they've been good out there today, haven't they? They started off in the lead with a great first round dive, 3-5-4 total score. Russia's Alexander Bondar and Viktor Minibaev, the champions elect. Just a back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty stands between them and the European gold medal. Oh yeah, Russia have definitely put it out of reach now. They are looking at your European champions in this event. Yeah, Bondar and Minibayev have finished off in outstanding style. Back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. This will be the highest scoring dive of the competition. May even get 90 points. Huge degree of difficulty, big dive to finish on. Those of our European champions. Yeah, let's have a look at the scores. 92.72, 423, the final mark, and that is going to be untouchable. So it'll be silver for Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams, barring disaster here. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in pike, 3.2 degree of difficulty. They need 96.18. It's not going to happen. So this for a European silver medal for last year's bronze medalists. Oh, it's an easy silver for our boys. It's a good showing out there today. They've been consistent all the way through, just outclassed by the Russians and outgunned, if I'm honest. At 18 years of age, both of them, they don't quite have the firepower as yet, but they are working on it and when the likes of uh, Tom Daly decide enough is enough, these are the next generation of superstars. Good work, lads, just below the 400 mark. Yeah, Tom Daly's legacy in good hands with Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams taking the silver. Timo Bartel, Florian Fandler of Germany, back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in Pike. Currently down in last place, the Germans. Well, underwhelming finish from the Germans. They will not be coming off the bottom two spots. Maybe they will finish in fifth which in this very small competition by way of numbers is last place. 316, uh, just above the Belarusians. So here come the Armenians. What do they need? They need just 48.06 to win bronze. And currently in bronze is the, uh, the Germans, okay. Yeah, so back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in pike. This is a big one as well. 3.6 degree of difficulty. There is an enormous margin for error here, but this would be a first European medal for Armenia if they can land this one. Nervous times. <laughs> Yes, let's go, Armenia. That's a bronze. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? What a, what a dive to finish. And they actually won that on their fifth round dive. I have not seen that. Well done, guys. That is a superb finish. They have dived their very, very best. And what a moment for Armenia. Look at that. It's confirmed just behind the Brits as well. Wow. That was closer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, just three points in it, maybe two and a bit. 
off the silver of uh, Matthew Dixon and Noah Williams, the Armenians there. Who saw that coming? That's got to be the first ever medal at a European diving championships for Armenia. Now, I haven't checked that fact, but I will fall off my chair if that isn't true. It's certainly a first ever medal in this event at the European diving championships. I can confirm that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd be very surprised if we've seen Armenia on a European uh, diving podium before. Well, that was exciting. They've made their mark, haven't they, Armenia? So confirmation then of the final standings for the men's 10 meter synchronized platform and Russia both Minibayev and Bondar former European champions individually now a gold medal together world silver last year becomes European gold Matthew Dixon Noah Williams bronze medalist last year it's silver this year Britain's fifth medal in the diving pool at this championships and Armenia's Vladimir Harutyunyan and Lev Sagsyan make history a first medal for Armenia diving and it's bronze <laughs>